Hello YouTube. Um, first of all, apologies to anyone for, that's been asking when I'm going to do another video for being a bit slack on my videos lately. I've um, got various excuses but I won't bore you with them. Today I'm doing this custom made leather sheath I had made by um, Lucky Lee, Lee Bennett. I'll put his, his uh, link to his Flickr pictures and his YouTube page in the link below. So check that out. He's, he's a busy man but does an excellent job, no doubt about that. Um, so yeah, this is his uh, multi-carry sheath. Yeah, it's just, you know, fine quality craftsmanship. So, I don't really know where to start with it. Um, it was his general design uh, that he had in a lot of his Flickr pictures and stuff where you, well you, you pick out what you want but um I wanted this dangler so it can hang off your belt I've just got two carabiners fixed to it at the minute with different carry options I mean I could take one of them off save it save me actually having to feed it through my belt every time um I just clip it on a carabiner to my belt dangle it off like that swings about or you can connect it to your belt obviously and then you've got these molly style attachments here where you can clip it to a bag or clip it to a belt and then when it's clipped onto your belt like that you can also attach a leg lanyard around your leg to stop it swinging about if need be just lovely craftsmanship from Lee here as I'm sure anybody else that's got any of these things will know he's got his signature on the back there lovely uh, chrome screws we went for in the end and the swinger there you will hear me bumming this a lot because I do love it. You know, just everything about it is excellent and great value for money. I won't go into pricing and stuff because <clears throat> obviously Lee do that different for each job, I expect. But yeah, I asked him. I'd done a drawing for him and he made this up for me how I wanted it. It's for my old A. Wright and Son bushcraft knife. That I, and he also done me a lovely reprofiling of this, which is now razor sharp again. I hopefully won't have to touch for a while. But yeah, that sits in there snugly. If you saw my other video where I was moaning about the crap sheath that actually came with the knife, Lee, um, I got in touch with Lee after that and he'd done, a, done this for me. So he's put these bits of elastic around the around the uh, button clip on the top here. So when, it's, when you've got it on, you clip it, pull the knife straight out. But it's still held in there firmly enough that even if the button clip did undo, it wouldn't fall out he's just got thick leather not like the one that comes with this knife excellent thick leather so yeah that just springs back on those bits of bungee cord which is a great little touch I've seen it on other knives on YouTube and everyone always agrees it is a great touch so to the main sheath I wanted three custom things I've sort of moved it about a bit normally you have the fire steel this is the fire steel that came with the knife and obviously I like it I mean it doesn't fit in with this design perfectly it would probably be better of a black fire still but I like this so yeah anyway this holder on the side here which is folded into the lever of this pouch is um, universal for most fire steels so when this fire steel wears down which it is quite a bit at the minute any other fire steel will just slot into there nicely probably put a bit of bungee cord around it put that on there but you know even that one that's worn down a bit it ain't going anywhere um, and then on this side I had a larger one putting in for this which fits in very snugly which is what me and Lee was discussing online and over the phone very helpful man with every detail you want Lee um, I've got this Kershaw pocket sharpener diamond sharpener because I wanted a sharpener to be part of the sheath obviously so I looked into one this was fairly expensive I've got to admit but just the design of it everything about it I loved and I wanted it to be specifically for this knife so I invested in this little Kershaw obviously it's not to sharpen your knife up perfectly but it's if you get any little dinks or scrapes in your knife when you're out just a quality little diamond sharpener to get your edge back on your knife when you need it so yeah that fits into there lovely 
Um, and I just wanted it black and like that and quite solid and round. I've got one of the little Gerber ones, but I didn't want that little thing pissing about with its crappy little pencil-like lock. You know, I wanted something to go in there solid. So that's in there. So we've got the knife, fire steel, sharpener. And then, obviously, I wanted a pouch on the front for my Tinder. Again, with Lee's initials in there. In case I forget who made it, which I doubt I will. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a lovely little touch. All his leather work. So good. And then he's put me this little um, flap of leather in here so I can pull out whatever's in the pouch easier. In here at the minute, I've just got... For some reason, I keep getting the Bushcraft magazine. Although I unsubscribed to it last year, they keep sending me it through and I'm not paying for it. I don't really know what's going on. But yeah, they gave me some of this that I haven't tried yet. It's basically just dust from pine sticks, but... As you all know, that is a damn good um, fire lighter. I haven't used any of this yet. I've just put it in here because it fitted nicely. But obviously in this pouch I could fit other things when I get round to it. Maybe, obviously I'll always have my survival kit on me in a separate pocket. But you could fit little survival items in there. Button compass, small fishing kit, whatever. But I wanted it solely for tinder. So I've got my fire my, and my knife on there basically. What I may do is add a big bit of paracord down here so then for shelter building in an emergency if I had this. Because um, the video I got tagged in for the one tool survival, this is a this is also could be a reply for that one tool survival. This would be my one tool survival to the tag. I'm not sure how all the tagging stuff works to be honest with you, but I'll see you know who you are, I'll send you a message with this on it. This would be my one tool survival. I'm not sure how to do this tagging stuff, so I don't know if I just have to mention what it I don't know. I'm, not, I'm a bit confused about it, but let me know anyway, I hope I'm doing this right, but yeah, this would definitely be my one tool survival. I know it's not one tool per se, but it's one item, I don't know if it gets away with it or not. But yeah, so you've got fire lighting, sharpening of your tool, your tool. For me, any woodland trip, this little baby is coming along. I, I, I can't describe how much I love this sheep. Thanks for all your hard work, Lee. Excellent. I always wanted to get one of these sheep's made, but I was like, oh, I don't know if I can, you know, it's not expensive. If you look at what this is, it's not expensive. Lee's prices are very, very good. And for what it is, this is going to last forever. And it's just so much better than the sheep that come with this knife. I love the knife, but I just wanted a, a better sheath with it. And this does everything and more. So, yeah, look out for um, me using this. I will be. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks again to all my new subscribers and you know everyone who comments and messages. Feel free to comment, ask any questions, whatever. And yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.